Yo, what's up, what's up? Good morning. This is Batang Kamsur Vlog TV. Magbabalik mga idol. Ayan mga idol. Uh, ito wala na tong intro-intro mga idol. Uh, panoorin natin yung laban ni Sir Manny Pacquiao mga idol. Napakagandang laban ito. Sir Manny Pacquiao vs. DQU. Ayan mga idol. Napabagsak pa rin ni Manny Pacquiao. Mabigat pa rin yung kamao ni Sir Manny Pacquiao mga idol. Ayan. Panoorin natin mga idol. Let's watch this. A few minutes later. In the words of the Hall of Famer, may he rest in peace, Mills Lane. Let's get it on. It's Pacquiao. It's you. We are in Seoul, South Korea. Did you ever think you would see Manny Pacquiao in a matchup like this? Not at all, but I love to see it. I love partaking in this whole event. He was my hero growing up, childhood favorite fighter. And now commentating for him, that's pretty surreal. What was interesting is that Manny went and tried to like touch gloves and smiling as he always does. Will that smile turn into focus? They touch gloves and we are officially underway. Manny Pacquiao wearing the Philippine colors. DKU wearing the red with white trim. Manny's jab is still razor sharp. His first jab is quick. Both men are southpaws. At the press conference and when asked during fight week uh, what DK's game plan was, he said to focus on his movement. That's uh, one thing he kept saying. And, and by that, he means um, focus on, on keeping the right stance, focus on using his height and his reach to, to keep Manny off and to keep his distance from Manny. Over the course of his illustrious career, Manny Pacquiao beat the likes of Marco Antonio Pereira, Eric Morales, Oscar De La Hoya, Miguel Cotto, also Ricky Hatton. Truly a murderer's row. And defeated Juan Manuel Marquez, had memorable confrontations against Morales and Marquez, the biggest blockbuster fight of all time against Floyd Money Mayweather, defeated Keith Thurman, even when he was, you know, in his 40s. I mean, just what he has done has been truly remarkable. Eight division world champion, Manny goes right after DKU. DK with a straight left, Manny smiles at him. And with a tall fighter like this who isn't an actual boxer. Even though he's a lot taller, Manny knows that as he as he explodes in, DK is going to bring his front foot back, and it's going to it's going to make him stand up, and that's going to be where he's going to be vulnerable for uh, all of Manny's punches. Yeah, Manny's boxing knowledge is just way superior in height, weight. It doesn't matter. He just knows the game inside and out. And he has a tremendous advantage, regardless of the size advantage from DK. Manny attacks the body of DKU, and that'll conclude the first round. Manny was almost chasing. As a fight for fight for long. In, in Manny Pacquiao, DKU. Round number two, this one is scheduled for six. We'll see if Manny decides to unload a straight left. And, you know, DKU, you know, he threw a couple of jabs, and he said that he thinks that his unique martial arts style could give Manny Pacquiao difficulty. So far in the first round, that was not to be the case. No, no difficulties. I think it's just going to make, of course, Manny's a little cautious because he doesn't want to get caught with the, with the solid shot, and it's a little difficult to get inside against a fighter, a taller that's, a fighter that's so much taller. Love that jab to the body by Manny. One thing about Manny Pacquiao, even though he's been gone only since August of last year, his popularity is the same, if not has increased, as he is absolutely beloved by the fans, especially here in Seoul, South Korea. The, yeah. good, the good guy of boxing. He's really loved around the world, it's amazing. Manny Pacquiao turn 44 on December 17th. There's a straight left, that miss, good movement by DKU. Ooh, good there punch goes. by Manny. Landed. Manny landed that left and he attacks the body of DKU under a minute to go in our second frame.
Manny is sort of planting his feet more. Typically, he's sort of moving more side to side, trying to get on the inside and on court. But I really wonder here at 160, you know, how he's feeling. He probably understood that he's got to come in heavier because of the fact that DKU was going to weigh in in a higher weight. No, he's got the, he's got the same age. Probably too early in the fight, so I think he's kind of just taking his time with it because he knows eventually he's going to get close to DK no matter what. Yeah, he's not looking to unload that. Signature shot, one of those big bombs that put Keith Thurman on the canvas back in July of 2019. And their welterweight championship matchup. Watching that fight live, it was remarkable. He's a well-respected fighter. And a legendary, iconic, and will no doubt have his place in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. 100%. But for DKU, what a learning experience this is for him to be able to have the biggest moment of history. There's a left there by you. He threw something. That was probably the strongest punch that he threw. A glancing shot for you. We'll see if Manny decides to tag him and he grips the body. Good straight back by Manny. Manny engages in a bow. Boy, you don't see that every day. Still blinding fast. He's so nice. He's so polite. I love it. He's been like all fight week. He was just so kind to everyone. No doubt about it. Typically, Manny's the nice one inside the ring. I think DK may have him beat. Right? Who's nicer? <laughs> Under a minute one. left here in the third, but let's not forget, it is still prize fighting. And they both are trying to inflict some damage upon one another. Ray Flores, Amir Tyson, the champ. Sinisa Superbad Estrada here in Seoul, South Korea, the main event of Triller Fight Club. Happy holidays to all of you and your families. The return of the great Manny Pacquiao against DKU. Couple of lefts hammering away upon DKU, and you wisely says, no, 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 let me tie up and sort of extend the time. I love, I love when Manny goes to the body and just goes blinding fast to the head. Like, it's, oh, it's, just, good, it's crazy. Good right hook up top by Manny. Ooh, yeah, let's go, Manny and Hook. Manny picking up the intensity, and DKU looked over at the big screen to see how much time he has left in this, our third round. Well, Manny has picked up the pace, as you pointed out, Sinisa. Ooh, ooh. Couple of lefts there. Glancing shots, but round three is drawn to a close. Uh, with, the, with the left hook by DK there coming in, but Manny... Uh returns it by digging through the body and pushing DK back into the ropes. Bang, there's that wow. right. Wow. So it's that right hook that dropped Thurman and many others. That's the infamous hook. I love watching Manny Pacquiao fight. I'm, I'm a fan of his, I'm not gonna lie. And look, the reason why I'm bringing up the Thurman fight is that's when Pacquiao last won his his final professional victory in which he captured the welterweight championship of the world. So that is why I'm referring back to that. Yes. And he did it into his 40s. I'm not trying to pick on Keith Thurman whatsoever. <laughs> or actually signal out, single out one particular fight. Round four, scheduled for six. Manny Pacquiao, DKU. I think it's clear that if Manny wants to turn up the intensity, it's awfully hard for DKU to try to match that. Oh, yes, and DK won't be able to keep Manny off of him. I mean, it's all in the feet, and as the rounds go on, DK's getting um, more and more winded, and that means his legs are, are going with him. And his legs are going to be the first to go. There's that right hook upstairs by Manny Pacquiao, and you really wonder if Manny is trying to go and really sort of end it in grand fashion. Manny looking to swarm one, DKU. DKU looks visibly tired, he's breathing heavy. Well, when you get hit to the body by Manny Pacquiao, it'll take some wind out of your sails. Yeah, and as I was gonna say before the replay, you can train for any other sport, you could, you could train for martial arts as well and think that you're in great condition, but when you step into a boxing ring and you have to go by the boxing rules. Oh, there's a right hook for DKU. That was probably his best punch of the fight. Going by boxing rules and boxing technique and having to stick to that, it's exhausting. Look at that. Manny Pacquiao coming into the living rooms. There are cameramen was sort of taking aback. Anyone will get fatigued fighting Manny Pacquiao. Man.
My dad always, always told me, he said, it's different between boxing shape and being in shape. It's a total different thing. Yes. Manny and DKU goes down, and they're ruling it a slip. So says our referee in charge as we near the conclusion of our fourth round. I think DK is sort of trying to prolongate some time. And now it is, and down goes DKU. And this one is... Did he get up? I'm trying to see. He, is he it called over? it off, and then DK uh, wanted to keep going, so he let him up. Okay, so I thought the referee was going to wave it off. He did. But instead, DK got up and said, I... If Manny Pacquiao wants to go ahead and finish off to, yeah. DKU. Well, credit to DKU for being a tough customer, but there are certainly levels to this, and even Manny Pacquiao at 43 years of age, he Man looks sharp here tonight in Man Seoul, South Korea. Manny's ready to go. He's, he's, he's ready, ready to go. Center of the ring <laughs> and everything. Yeah, DKU is breathing heavy. And I think it is only a matter of time. Will Manny elect to show some restraint or will he go after DKU? You was moments away from being stopped, but Alexa come out and he gets hammered with that left. Well, now he's got a little bit of an alley shuffle. Okay, this is the most lively we've seen DKU. We'll see if that martial arts and the fans certainly making some noise. Manny has him in circles. That is hilarious. Well, DK's got to do something, and he's getting hammered with that left. There's a right hook followed by a straight left. It's moments away from possibly being wow. stopped. Manny Pacquiao hammered he's away upon DKU. And he... Okay, so that'll extend round number five. wants to go the distance. Speaking of the clock, what? Oh, there it is. <laughs> that felt like a five-minute round. Uh, Let's just dude. say we don't have the best. Oh, I think the question is, will DKU survive the next two minutes and not get stopped by the great Manny Pacquiao? Boo Boy Fernandez talking with Manny Pacquiao. I think Team Pacquiao is looking for the finish. So this next 120 seconds may seem like an eternity for DKU. DKU is trying to be nice to Manny. <laughs> well, he <laughs> he won't him. knock him out. <laughs> he hugged Manny Pacquiao and he killed four seconds. I think DKU is trying to find a way to survive. Will Manny Pacquiao allow him to do so? Now they are resting, jostling for position. He's going for a single leg takedown to no avail. DKU is doing anything not to get knocked out. He is exhausted. He's getting pounded on by Manny Pacquiao. Will he be able to go the distance with the 8th Division World Champion, Manny Pacquiao? I know Manny wants to, he wants to make him quit. He wants to get the stoppage. Now he's back against the corner. A couple of lefts. 
Manny driving DK. Oh, my God. DKU. Can DKU survive these final 49 seconds? And now why is time being called? Will Manny Pacquiao be able to get the finish? In my estimation, the fight should have been waved off a round ago. Now DK trying to give one last push. Ooh, oh, big right hook fight. upstairs by Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao showing his technical superiority Ooh. and glimpses at times of his career. Down goes DK. Are you kidding me? Uh, well, in the words of Gloria Gaynor, DK used the mindset of I will survive, and he does so. Manny won every single round. Well, Manny Pacquiao, ham fierce welterweight that's now fighting here at 160, and he went out there and he demonstrated. Look at that right bang, and DKU had no answer whatsoever. Yeah, man. It's just like, you know, they didn't forget it. He wanted, he, Manny wanted them to make, wanted to make sure no one said he, they forgot about him, his ferocity. They weren't going to say he must have forgot because Manny's just a beast. He's always going to be able to fight. He's just a man, you know? And that's why he's respected worldwide. In spite of all the theatrics from DKU, Manny Pacquiao went out. He took it. You know, he came in in shape, and he went out there to try to finish him. And a credit to Manny Pacquiao for pushing the pace and taking it to DKU. And just look at some of this. Legendary ferocity, man. You love to see it. Any other referee would have stopped the fight, but you know what? They showed uh, some mercy upon DKU. And Manny Pacquiao still, I think Manny's a little like, okay, I really wanted that stoppage. You could tell it was in his D It's, well, in, it's in their blood. They can't help it. Well, I think the answer of do we want to see Manny Pacquiao in another unique matchup like this, at least from my standpoint, Amir, is a resounding yes. A hundred percent. After seeing this, I don't think Mayweather would accept it because I can't see him beating, beating Pacquiao. Well, I'm just going to say that I want to see Manny Pacquiao back. Would I want to see Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao in an exhibition? I think the world would love to see it. We now send it up to our ring announcer. The scorecards are in. Your winner, by unanimous decision, Manny! Victorious by unanimous decision, but if you notice the embrace with him and DKU, Manny was like, okay, you know, I know that I was somewhat robbed of a stoppage against you, and Manny still being very